Welcome here in Biel, close to the headquarters of HYT, to discuss about the new colors the brand implemented into its watches. Blue, red, they presented it in April, and actually it is really not easy to do, and it's the result of a long process of innovation. So let's discover that here in Biel. I'm Gregory Dord, CEO of uh, Preciflex, a company which uh, develops and manufactures and delivers all the fluidic module for HYT. We started with uh, the yellow color, which has been uh, released uh, two years ago, approximately. And uh, we have been working now for more than one year, uh, 18 months precisely, on the new colors. Uh, the first new colors which uh, will be released are the red and the blue. And this is taking lots of time, basically. We have developed a special dye going with a special uh, fluid. And we have to make sure by developing uh, uh, these two elements uh, that uh, we still have uh, uh, the equilibrium and the non-miscibility of the two fluids. And we have to make sure that the dye is not um, uh, going from one fluid to the other. Otherwise, we will have just a, a, a decolored uh, solution. You know, it's not just uh, the development of one liquid. You know, every time you, you develop something in the liquid, you develop a solution of interaction between two liquids and their environments. And the environment is also the coating and the metals that are inside uh, the watch and other components. And all that, all this system has to be uh, stable in the time. So it's not just to plug one liquid and it's done. No, it's a, it's a complete system. It's a whole interaction. And then we enter into uh, a long period of test and qualification, which is aging, aging test. It's like accelerating the time in order to make sure that uh, after, let's say, uh, four, five, six months of aging, it's an equivalent of three, four, five years of um, uh, living of the system. It's not as easy as uh, you can do, for example, in the watchmaking, to change the color of the dial in the fluids, it's much more complicated. We have to select uh, very special and to develop special dyes that have to be very, very stable. Stable means they do not, uh, they cannot change of color, of brilliance with the time, and they have to be very, very stable in all their interactions with uh, the different materials that are inside the fluidic module. Basically, I really would like to disclose uh, and to inform you uh, about the composition of the liquid. Unfortunately, you know, it's lots of time we, that we have spent. It's millions of development. Everything we, has been done here in uh, Biel, in uh, Switzerland. Um, but disclosing this information will give, you know, competitors and everybody uh, the information. And this we cannot, uh, we cannot say. 